even tell that it was Tom April? Rebecca Klein, one of our investigators. Tell her how we ID'd April's body. Dental records. The Emmy says he's been in the ground two weeks. Some uh, farmer upstate thought he was digging up a deer, only deer don't wear polka dot underwear. Nice touch, by the way. What's up? City Hall type named Thomas Averill. Know him? Yeah, part of the Sutton Place Southampton crowd. His body's been found in the woods. And for some reason, Vaughn thinks you need to be brought up to speed. So first off, what do you know about George Delacour? What everybody knows. He drained his SNL for three billion and then split the coast of Guana. And you guys are trying like hell to extradite him. There's more. Costaguana's trying to get into the drug trade. Delacorte's been bankrolling them, buying them planes, boats, guns, in exchange for them letting him stay. You follow so far? Mm, everything but what this has to do with April getting shot. He was all set to testify against Delacorte when it happened. Michael, you know Linda Penny? Hi, Linda. She's Averill's attorney, yet she claims there's nothing she can tell us about his murder. With all due respect, Mr. Vaughn, I have given you my full cooperation here. I just want you implying. Only the prosecuting Delacorte is a top priority around here. People can't go around executing federal witnesses with impunity. I want to know the last time you saw Averill. And I'll read a record of every conversation you had with him the week before he disappeared. Check my calendar. I left it upstairs in your office. Yeah, I want you to check it out with Ace. Damn it. Just when I'm in a hurry, there are no cabs. I've got a car here. I can have him drop you uptown. Sure? Yeah, I'm going to be here for at least an hour with Ace. It's right over there. Great Apple 521. Hey, great. Okay. Thanks. I'll send it right back to you. See you later. Bye. Ready? Vaughn's the same. Yeah, I heard. Not Linda yet, but I've brought you her client list. Creeps and sleezos. She's a defense attorney. And a good one. Well, we want to protect her, not blow her up, right? Hit was on Linda, not Vaughn. I saw Vaughn in the car. But they were told to hit the car, not the passenger. How about uh, prognosis on the bomb? Pretzel vendor logged a suspicious person. Police are working on a sketch. For you. Mm hmm. It's not ticking. Open it. There are rumors everywhere that you're stepping in for Vaughn. They've got guys with three and four middle names that are up for this job. And besides, I would look terrible in these. I think you look great. Come here. You have excellent taste. Thank you. Good job on this. Gotta get a 32, I'm getting black and blue marks. Mm. 
Michael, if this happens, this is going to be a problem for us. You mean me and the suspenders? No, I don't mean you and the suspenders. You, you mean know you I mean. and the suspenders? No, I don't mean me and the suspenders. You know what I mean? So quit it. I won't let it. I don't sleep with bosses. I'm not your boss. Yet. Take a good look, Commissioner Bitterman. Here's you in the office of West End Construction. This is Eddie Diaz, our chief investigator. Tell him what he's won, Eddie. See, Farrell leaves the room, says he's going to the can or something, opens the drawer with the money, and oops. So this is how West End Construction got the asphalt contract, isn't it, Commissioner? Draw closed, case closed. You're dead, Vince. OK, OK, turn it off. And now it's your turn. Who'd you give the money to? You bastard. We know about you, Hayes, how everybody's just another someone to flip. Vince, if you want to go to jail for somebody else, that's OK by me. How high up does the money go? Who? You want to know who, huh? Mm-hmm. You'll be at Commissioner Alfaro's anniversary on Wednesday night. They say he practically raised you. Are you naming Salvatore Alfaro in a kickback scheme to me? A little close to home, Hayes. This better check out. Jump on this right away. The guy could be lying about Sal. I'll run it by our deep throats in City Hall. And then we fix him with a wire. I want to hear it with my own two ears. Yep. All right, everybody, here I come. Oh, here I come. There you go. Yes, oh, no. Sal, yes, we have. Down for five minutes. Oh, everybody says put it down. And where do they all want to see? <laughs> Side. Oh. Hey, oh. Hey. Oh. Like you need it. Are you nuts? Everybody knows how busy you are. You stop at a bake. You don't look good, Mike. You eating oh. now? Oh, There's plenty here. Mike, we need to talk. But not. Why not tonight? Not you tonight. Michael! Give it a dance with the battle. Oh, wow. Oh. 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 Look at this. How's Mary Mom? Oh, oh, school is great. Oh, you, right? smile, you know what, though? I miss you. Why don't you dance with me? Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. It's a big deal now. But it's going to be the Dad, next U.S. Attorney, what? they say. Oh. Let him relax. Mm. Let me check. You want to talk? We'll talk. Oh, Sal. Come on, come on, we'll go out here. Come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Coming through. Coming through. I'm proud of you, Mike. Camille, I'll be right in. Don't give anybody my uh, camcorder, right? <laughs> you have been eating too much cake. I lost 12 pounds. So what's up? Somebody handed me a tape with a conversation on it. What tapes, Lincoln? You and Vince Bitterman yesterday in your office. The subject was asphalt, and there was talk of a kickback on it. Of course, Bitterman's a thief. Yeah. Bitterman's not the point, Sal. Don't do this to me. Mickey, your father. How many times did I keep the sharks off of him? You don't think that cost me something? I taught you how to fish. Like you're teaching your brother's kid. That's how I taught you. Now you've come here, you call me a crook? Sal, it's you on the tape. Crooks steal for themselves. You look around you. You see me in the same house, the same street, all of my life. 
Money's for the people. And for the party who takes care of them. Sal. No, no, no. You hear it on the news. The race for the presidency cost $800 million. For what? A cup of tea at the White House? This is bigger than just an asphalt kickback. These guys will take out your eyes for 50 cents. Who? Who will tear your eyes out? Who do you give the money to? Who? Stop trying to look for somebody to cuff. You're not a beat cop anymore. Then help me. Oh, yeah? What if this guy is so big, huh? so high up? They've all got two wrists. Talk to your lawyer. Get the hell out of here. We got two days. Uncle Mike, do they hurt? No, they're fine. Me and my mom watch you on TV. You are on every channel. Really? OK, you're all set. Let's see what you got. What are you, a wise guy? No. That was a great cast. Only if it catches something. No, you're being too hard on yourself. Here we go, reel it in. Oh, come on, just one more no, cast. Oh, we had a deal. It's past seven. I've got work, you've got school. I promised your mom I'd have you back. Your dad's coming home tomorrow. Good to see him, won't you? I've been sending him pictures of you. My dad doesn't fish. Maybe we can teach him. Good job today. All right, you get your box. Sorry. You're cutting it close. The school bus will be here. Wait. <sighs> Your lunch is in there. Okay. Okay? Go. Okay. Good job today, right? Yeah. Okay, you be safe? Yeah. Have a good day. Bye. Be careful. See you, Uncle Mike. I love you. Saw you on the news. So I heard. That's your boss. Well, <clears throat> we were there all night long, and I think he's coming around. With all that, Michael, you didn't have to show up today. A promise is a promise. So did you find out exactly when your crazy brother's getting out of jail? The standing out tomorrow. I won't take him back. What? But come on, just say it. Maybe you won't want to come back. He's going to stay with me for a while. Just for a while. Caitlin, if he changes his mind, don't change yours. Don't take him back if you don't want to. What if I love him? Then be careful. Yes, sir, Mr. Bonsor. Thank you. Order combat. You know what that means? That's French on the shelf. You want me on my back for six months. You're going to have to watch your back. Sir. You're a great prosecutor, Michael. I've only known two or three who were better. One of them was me. <laughs> Judge Engel knows that, too. That's why he's going along. With what, sir? You know what I'm talking about. You've got half a city hall, terrified. Let's see what you can do with a little wind in your sails. <coughs> Start thinking politically, Michael. I'm not sure I'll be any good at it. At what? Pulling punches. We'll find out. <sighs> Acting U.S. attorney. And they can take it from you just like that. 
Thank you for your confidence in me. Get yourself a real job. Get over here. How you feeling? Uh, save me, will you? Look here. Rebecca just found Linda. She's in a safe house in Upper West Side. Okay, we're on our way. It's just us. Peaceful units approach. I didn't do it, officer. Knock it off. My girlfriend's had a scare. what it is. Now, everybody's shouting. They've hit the U.S. attorney. They've hit the U.S. attorney. Security in the city has tripled. The media has dropped acid over this. But all I'm thinking is that the car was for Linda. You offered Vaughn the ride. I did not know that car was going to be hit. Somebody ordered a hit on you. I want to know who it is. Okay. Here's the other way we can go with this. I can set you free right now and let them find you this time. It was Delacorte's people. Nothing else makes any sense. Okay. I understand why they hit Averill so he couldn't testify against Delacorte, but why you? Because I could connect them to Tom Averill's murder. I told my firm that he was going to testify against Delacorte. Go on. I guess they thought that Tom's body wasn't going to be found, and when it was, I didn't trust that I would keep my mouth shut. Why not? Because we were... <sighs> because you and Averill were lovers. Right? I want all the names of Delacorte's people at the firm. They're just messenger boys. For who? Start with Granville Kramer. Kramer? Okay, so you're telling me that Granville Kramer, three-time congressman, state party chairman, is connectable to drug smuggling, draining an SNL, and executing federal witnesses to cover the whole thing up? Yes, that's what I'm telling you, Michael. This is a great country. So, when I move against Kramer... No one's going to allow that. When I move against Kramer, you will help. That's not going to be enough. It'll be a start. Apply. No, no. Too, too morbid. The morbid, the merrier. Oh, oh. Hey, here's one. Wanted. Waiters. Free uniforms, free transportation, free lunches, free sleeping quarters, and free cigarettes. Oh, boy. Free cigarettes. What? DB's got lousy reception. There's nothing in the fridge. Well, thanks for the use of the place. Hey. Mikey. No kidding. Thanks. See, so you found the scotch all right? Yeah. I found it all right. It definitely ain't. It's my first night out in the open. Three years. Let's celebrate. Go out, huh? Okay, we'll go out, but uh, not tonight. I'm exhausted. Well, Saturday then. Fine. Can we take little Danny with us? You haven't seen him in a while. Not my fault. Mm. He needs you. He with you around? Uh, in the meantime, what's this I read? You're a real hero downtown, huh? Big shot. <laughs> Put your feet off the couch. Wow. You don't have to do that. Yeah, I do. I'm 
little fast, Gray, with you. Not too fast. Take the little man to dinner with us. I told him you missed him. I did. I do. I don't know what to do with him. He's talking crazy. He says you're going to arrest him. You're not going to arrest him, are you? Where is he? He's in the backyard. Uh, he's not making any sense. He's talking scared about Antoinette. Okay. He's going to freeze. Make him come in. Cold out here, Sam. Yeah, the, the birds do this. <laughs> Trying to get at the buds through the winter. But... Thirty years with the city. Think you become a commissioner overnight? Sal, maybe I didn't make myself clear the other night. I can help with this. If I cooperate. Let's say I do what I have to do. You'll protect my family, my commute? Of course. And my Antoinette. She's put a face on her, huh? Michael. She went back to the school. Mm -hmm. You promised me she won't open up a paper and read my name splashed all over. Oh, what kind of a Sal, crook I'm supposed to be? Sal, you have my word. I know you're doing what you have to do. You were always very honest, even as a kid. I trust you. In addition to the handgun found in his overcoat, were these photographs of his daughter coming out of her dorm room at Marymount. <clears throat> it's a message. A threat. Your people are on the photographs. Us, FBI, Westchester police, everybody. Okay. We have what, 17 open files in public corruption? About that. Okay, back burner those, make everything all thorough. Oh, uh, that sounds extreme. That's it. Michael? Mr. Manning? I'm sorry I wasn't there the other day to raise a glass. Congratulations. 
Well, I appreciate that, but there is a bit of a cloud hanging over it. Thank you. Maybe because of Salathoro. No, actually, I was referring to Bond being laid up. Oh, the doctors think he'll pull through. Silver lining for you, though, huh? Excuse me. <clears throat> the U.S. attorney being blown up is not a silver lining for anybody. Can I ask you a question? Is this going to be a problem for you? What are you talking about? Maybe the way things have transpired have been confusing for you. And maybe you figured when Vaughn had to step aside, the job would be yours. I was Vaughn's first deputy for six years, Michael. I understand that. And I have enormous respect for you, John. But I need to know if I can count on you. I've never let this job down, Michael. That's not an answer. Can I count on you? Yes. Good. I'll see you in the morning. I'll be at the funeral. Alfaro's funeral? You're going? He was my friend. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. We ask this in faith. Since Almighty God has called our brother Salvatore from this life of himself, we commit his body to the earth from which it was made. Christ was the first to rise from the dead. We know that he will rise up our mortal bodies to be like his glory. We commend our brother Salvatore to the Lord. May the Lord receive him in his peace and raise up his body in the last place. I bring you regards from another friend of yours, Linda Penny. I haven't seen Linda lately. How's she doing? She's touch and go, too. Well, nice to meet you, Mr. Hayes. Same here. Asphalt kickbacks. What did he mean? What did a neighborhood mutt like Sal do for Kramer that Kramer can't do for himself? All right, we look for connection. We could subpoena Sal's phone records. Do it. Already did. Office and home. Why would he go there? He took a real risk by showing up at the funeral. It's not Sal he's worried about. It's Camille. She must have something on him. Let's go. He was involved with the wrong people. The other day at the funeral, there was a man there named Granville Kramer. 
What was he doing there? A lot of great men paid their respects to Sal. I know that. Sal kept his things, files, in boxes, with important pictures, didn't he? My husband had a million friends. I know that, too. But one of them did this to him, Camille. Help me get him. Please. United States Attorney, Southern District of New York. Michael? governor's son six months ago. To that actress lasted about 10 minutes. That's really relevant, Eddie. Don't start with me. Rock, remember when you asked Linda Penny if Sal knew Kramer? She said she didn't know. She's got a short memory. Sal, Kramer, and Linda. So Linda Penny was at the wedding, too. Linda Penny is on the team. Let's go. safe house with room service. When are you kidding? The stump gets an A+. Plus. Last time I was sitting on these guys over on Staten Island. Oh. Sounds like food. Yep. Food's here. Hungry? Yeah, hungry. Bring it on up, Sam. Now, don't you two get personal. I'm sitting right here. Sandy? Where's Sandy? Your man let me up. Sleep on the floor, right? No, uh, the man don't pay me. All right, just a sec. Real bright, Sandy. Yeah. Hey, it's me. Just to let you know we're on the way. Yeah, well, you might want to eat something. There's not enough here, all right? Don't worry about it. Not the priority. What? Rebecca. What? You're breaking up. I can't hear you. Rebecca. Huh. Money. Put your hands in the air! Michael? Rebecca! Michael, they're here. They got company. I said drop the bag! Shoot out the progress! Got something for me. Uh, 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 
down, Linda. Get down! After you tonight was the same guy who killed Tom Averill in the woods. Sal provided him for Kramer. We know that now. The gunman gave us that. He said his contact with Kramer was a woman. You. No, you know, you amaze me. You were in love with this guy and you got him killed, didn't you? I believed him. Who did you believe? <laughs> It came to me. <laughs> they said there was a man with a suitcase full of money for Tom. <laughs> they wanted him to get lost and to travel around the world until Delacourt's trial was over. Okay, so you delivered the offer to Tom. Yes, and he was glad. He said that he was going to go and call me from wherever he was. And I would meet him. He knew that I would go anywhere to meet him. <laughs> This man you've got, this killer, I sent him to Tom. What have I done? Who came to you? Kramer. Tom was not supposed to be her. He was never supposed to be her. You sure you want to do this? Oh, yes. Mr. Kramer, we meet again. Do you know who that is? I have the slightest idea. I didn't think so. And yet you were willing to destroy your life and then show up at your father's funeral the other day. There's a federal investigator in intensive care as we speak. I'm certain you don't know who she is. You don't know who any of these people are, do you, Mr. Kramer? I don't have the attention span that I used to. You are beginning to hold me. Stand up. Stand up. Eddie, come. Please, freedom is rights. If you think arresting me is going to bring George Delacour home, very much mistake. There are powerful people who want him down there. Let's go. Any question? Four questions. Give me four. Know what you're doing. Kramer's right. You can't get to Delacourt right now. He was positioned down there. It was my understanding that extraditing Delacourt is a top priority. It is, but there are ways of doing these things. I told you to be political. Now you've grabbed Granville Kramer in his club. Congressman Kramer. Michael, you do not have support for a move like this. The only support I need is yours. I believe this is the reason I was given the position, and I believe this is the result we were after. Are you prepared for what's coming? I am.
Hey. Here we go. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Enjoy your meal. Hey. This is my fault and not yours. You understand that? Hmm? You know what? Come over and sit by me. Bring your steak with you. Right next to me. Do your napkin. Napkin on your lap. All right. All right. You ever cut a steak before? No. I'll make it simple. Index fingers. That's a steak knife. Here you go. Fork in first. Just steady it. Excellent. Knife in second. Just like me. Right? Ready? Go. Go. Yes. Yes. You're cutting a steak. You're cutting a steak. <laughs> Fell asleep. He's a tough kid. What a bastard. Hmm. Couldn't even show up for his own son. Yep. You want coffee? Uh I'm gonna uh shove off. You look nice. You up to some mischief? Not tonight. somebody then. Well, you don't keep moving. They throw dirt on you. Good. You deserve... Yes. Yeah. 